Uh, my name is Morgan Miller. I'm a fashion and fine art photographer based in New York City. Photography has kind of been an odd and amazing thing for me. It's not something I ever planned on doing or wanted to do. I had grown up with it my whole life. My stepmother was a photographer. She had uh, founded and ran the Center for Photography in Woodstock. My father had been a photographer and dealt with photography. And all these photographers would spend their summers at my parents' house. And so from a very young age, I was around photography and never, ever wanted to do it at all. And it was one of those things that life is kind of funny like that. When something's meant to be and maybe you're meant to do it, it keeps finding you. And an amazing thing came up when I was doing a project for the September 11th Museum for their permanent collection and exhibition. I was invited to make these images for a sculptor named Lima Bola, who had sculpted these peace angels that had garnered a tremendous amount of recognition as they'd been down um, at Ground Zero during September 11th. And the museum, for their opening, wanted images of the angels, very specific, very artistically interpreted images of those angels. And uh, they approached me to create those images, which was quite a challenge. We had taken little pieces of and snapshots and bits and pieces and recreated them and printed and photographed and redone and it was just a wild process to create these these images that capture the moment and the mood of when the angels were there and the people around them through color, shadow, um, grain and texture um, to create this almost dreamlike image that was very clear and real and obviously a photograph but that would conjure up the memory and the emotion of that moment when the people were there and you could see these, these peace angel sculptures there by ground zero right after everything had happened. The pictures had been printed um, on somebody else's paper and the opportunity to use the Ilford paper came up, uh, specifically the, uh, the gallery gold fiber silk. And we put the two next to each other back and forth and um, it was, it was one of those differences that as soon as you looked at it before you even thought about it, you automatically gravitated towards one image. And it was always, every single time, the image on the Ilford paper. Even though it was a white paper, it had a warmth to it and the texture had a more organic look to it. So once you had the final image on there, the saturation, the color, and the feeling of the ink was deeper. It was exactly what I was looking for. It allowed more warmth and emotion and feelings come through just by the way the ink saturated on the paper and the, and the depth of the shadows and the details in the shadows were noticeably different. It added depth to the image, which in the end added the emotion we were looking for. There was no question about the paper. And the response was so overwhelming that the curator of the museum took one of the images just to keep it in her office. Um, I'm told they're going to be on permanent exhibition. And now one of the pieces was requested for the uh, New York State Museum. There was another peace angel that was made for LA and when I had the chance to make images for the police chief Beck from Los Angeles, I printed those on Ilford paper. Um, I've just been asked to give, been asked to give uh, prints to people at the American Music Awards, and they will be on Ilford paper. It's the paper to an artist, to a photographer, is as important as your lens. It's an integral part of the final piece. It's the rendering of that piece from your sensor, from your computer, into reality. You know, when I think about photography, I love it. I don't ever want to stop and I don't ever need to. It's one of the only things I could ever imagine in life that you can do for as long as you're alive. You can envision it in your head. You can freeze that moment in time and create that immortal image and convey that emotion for as long as you want, for as long as you're alive. You'll always get better. You can always improve. You never have to stand still. I can't think of another thing I could do with my life that would never get stagnant, ever. And having the ability to make those images and print them and have the perfect option of what I want to print them on so I can make sure that image is seen exactly the way I want it to. Um, I used the Ilford, it was great. It's amazing, I'm gonna keep using it.